in 2015. USA Toys R Us stores had these 50 packs. Now they were they were displayed like this. The cars were inside like this. But when I did the unboxing video, I just laid the cars back in the box like that. If you want to see the models that were in the case, you can click on that card right there and you can see that unboxing video. As a matter of fact, the cars that you see displayed on the outside are some of the cars that are on the inside. They had regular basic issue cars, no treasure hunts, and you know, there's been 50 packs released before. Now that one there did have this model here, which a lot of people were saying it's a treasure hunt because Mattel had a card error, and you can see behind the card right there, behind the car, it has the Circle Flame logo. I have to hold it upside down so that you can see it. Anyways, you can see that logo. So this car is not a treasure hunt. They made a mistake and put that logo on the card. But this was in that box. But most of the time, collectors have not reported treasure hunts in the 50 packs. What they tend to be is these little short cards. And these are sold uh, frequently in Europe. And they have multiple languages so that they can be sold in multiple countries. While I usually don't buy 50 packs, I came across a couple of these right here. So let's go ahead and do a double unboxing of those two 50 packs. First thing to note about the Toys R Us 50 pack, these were available in the stores. So they actually had tape. They were taped shut. Well, these are being sold online, but they're not taped shut at all. Neither side has tape on it, and both boxes are the same way. So you won't find these in retail. Maybe you'll find them sold online. One thing I didn't mention in the Toys R Us 50 pack unboxing video is that one thing I noticed, besides them being multiple language cards, we call them international or wor worldwide. One thing that I noticed, all 50 cars were unique, no doubles. That's because it was sold in a store, a 50 pack for a consumer. Whereas if you get a case of Hot Wheels, you know, those are meant to be pegged on the, on the, pegged in the stores, and there'll be multiples in those cases, but in these here, uh, I don't know, the one that Toys R Us, it was, uh, no doubles, 50 cars, no doubles, uh, no treasure hunts either in the Toys R Us, uh, I don't know if this is going to have a treasure hunt, I would guess not, but you never know, it might have a basic treasure hunt. It might not have a super because supers have rubber tires. Uh, anyways, at first glance, you, you already see it looks like they're packed the same. You can see orange, orange, orange. And then over here you see orange, orange. Well, you can't see that one. See a couple cars right here. Here you see this, this, this. And then you kind of see the same here. Well, things are a little bit out of order. But there you can see the blue snow vehicle. Snow ride. No, not snow ride. Snow plow. Snow plowed. I knew I'd get it eventually. You can see it there, see it there. So it looks like they're packed the same. Let's take them out. Stock car, clear speeder. We have Dragon Blaster, Combat Medic, and the Chevy Camaro Concept. Now on the other side, Yep, seen those, seen those, clear speeder, mm, yeah that was on the other side, I might be snipping out the video to take out gaps, but uh, I'm only doing that to make it a, a, a better viewing experience, there you have the uh, Batmobile, that has red windows, did this one have red windows in the uh, basic release? Sometimes these special offerings, you wind up with variations. In this Batmobile Tumbler, they call it the Dark Knight Batmobile. Sometimes they have variations, so who knows? Maybe there's a variation there. There you have the Tesla Model S, and on the bottom you have Honda Racer, Power <laughs> Surge, and on the bottom you have Stingrod 2. Go on the other side. Different cars on that level. Let's see if the uh, second level. I grabbed these out of the f next row on the right. Went to the wrong case next. There you go. Dark Knight, Tesla, Honda, Power Surge, and of course Stingrod 2. On the right. Hey, it's kind of neat to get a little short card for the for the leap year card. Now notice uh, worldwide they don't say leap year. They avoid the um, they avoid English on there, so they just put a calendar 
and circle the 29th because that's leap year once every four years pretty neat to get this on the short card the other four models cruise bruiser side ripper epic fast and 74 escort rs 1600 There you go, another one. Same. So it's pretty clear that they're packed the same. Here is aerodynamic. Aerodynamic. I don't mit I don't memorize wheel variations. So if some of these wound up with wheel variations, I wouldn't know. Here we have the Chevy Love over here, Chevy C10. Lamborghini Urus and Bad Mudder 2. On that note, I didn't check. Yep, international worldwide packages. So I don't know what case general these cars would have come with because this one's here. It makes me think that it would coincide with the uh, Super Bad Mudder 2. Um, G case? Mm, I forget. There you go on the left. I'm getting confused. This is very awkward trying to open a hundred cars and keep everything on camera so you guys can see. 15 Ford F-150, Skyfire. That's a nice color right there. 63 Chevy 2, 69 Dodge Charger Daytona, 2015 Ford Mustang GT on the bottom. There you go. Three, three, three. Same. There's that so plowed. Took me a while to come up with with his name, but that's a so plowed. High roller. Got a little bit of a ugly metal flashing on the window. Sixty eight Shelby GT five hundred high roller on top. Here's your so plowed and your high roller. Aston Martin DB10, 68 Shelby GT500, Aston Martin DBS, very nice, two Aston Martins in the case, really like that model. I think I'm getting them mixed up. Aston Martin DB10, 70 Camaro, 69 Mercury Cyclone, Corvette Grand Sport Roadster, Oh, these are a couple good cars. Here you got the Renault Sport RS01, Custom 01, Acura Integra, GSR. Backdrafter in green. You got a right on. You have the grass chomper. Chicane. Spec tight. Here's your Corvette. Grand Sport Roadster, 65 Pontiac GTO, here you go, here's the other one from the other case, must have fell out of my hand, and on the bottom, the Cyclone, there's that pair, oh yeah, back drafter I showed you, glass chomper, Spectite on bottom, chicane on top, <clears throat> Tank Nader. And of course you have two induction. Two timer. X Team. T Gray and Chrome series. T Gray, Tank Nader. Two timer and X Team. Induction HW450F Ford Shelby Cobra Concept Blitz Speeder. That's a new model at this time. Bulletproof, and there you have Speed Slayer. Fantastic track cars. That's it for one, and for the other. Yep, same, same, same. So there you go. 
that's what typically appears in these 50 packs the only thing is that you don't know what's going to be in the box even if you come across this 50 pack online i can't say for sure that that's what these is what going to be in the case you don't know and apparently they're going to be online only because they're not taped shut so uh, I really couldn't tell you. Here's a look at the other side of the box. I don't think I showed you the back side. 50 pack. As a matter of fact, if you look on the side, uh, that one might have been in there. No, 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 no. I'm not sure what that is. Twin mill? Nope. I don't even. Uh, I don't even know if any of these cars were in the box. So, anyways, there's my unboxing. If you want to see the video, by the way. Of where I got these 50 packs, that's in a card as well. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.